Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. And I'm Llewellyn Falco. And this is Teaching Kids Programming with Microsoft Small Basic. So today, we're going to do recipes. And we have a prerequisite of setup, which we recorded in a previous screencast. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out now. But today, we're going to do my first recipe. And for that, we're going to need to work on importing and translating. So we're going to switch over to Small Basic now. But before we do that, we're going to stop by the wiki and pick up the recipe that we're going to do. And we're going to do the simple square right here. So click on the import ID and copy that. And then in Small Basic, click on the import button and paste the ID in and then click OK. And then what you're going to see is the requirements for this particular recipe. And what we're going to do is translate them line by line. So starting with the first line. Now, in English, we have a tendency to start with the verb, show. But in programming, we always start with the noun. So that's going to be uh, tortoise. And then a hint in small basic is once you type the first letter, you can then um, tab, arrow up and down, and see a list of different objects. And you can press tab once you find the object. It's really important for you also to look at some of the other features in small basic. So there's a niceness here that it shows you exactly what the help is for here. And over here, you get an even broader view of the help. And since we have the tortoise that we want, we're going to tab to complete it. And then after you've got the noun, you type a dot to uh, set up for the verb. And in this case, we're going to say show. And again, we get our list. So we're going to uh, up and down arrow and find. And these are all the options that we can actually do. So we need to find something that will help us to show and Nicely, it's already named show. Again, you want to look at the documentation because you'll see on the right that because this is a method, you have to have an open and closed parenthesis even though we're not putting any other information there in order for this to work. And now let's translate it. We should be able to run it and see it actually work. And you do that by pressing F5. So let's translate the next line. So make the tortoise move as fast as possible. Again, you're going to start with the noun, so that's going to be the tortoise. And you're going to press tab and then dot and then you're going to arrow up and down and look for something that has to do with speed. And then you'll find the method set speed. And if you look on your documentation on the right, you'll see that you pass in a value from 1 to 10. Well, we're on as fast as possible, so that should be a 10. Cool. All right, so we're going to go to the next line. Now, whenever you have to do things in multiple times, we usually use something called a for loop. And that syntax looks like this. You start where you want it to go and end where you want to do. We want to do four things, so we're going to start at 1 and go to 4. And when you're all done doing the things you want to do multiple times, you just close it with an N4. So because we're drawing a square, we want to do uh, something four times. So now what the thing that we want to do is at this first line, change the color of the line the tortoise draws to blue. So we're going to start with the tortoise object again, press tab, dot, and then we're going to say set pen color, and then uh, open parenthesis, and then we're going to use the colors object, and then type a dot, and we'll see we have all the colors available to us. In this case, we're just going to select blue and press tab and complete the statement. And now we go on to the next line. And again, we're calling the tortoise object. And because we want to move, we're going to call the move method and pass in a value of, fix, of 50 because that's the length in pixels. And notice over here in our documentation, we have a really nice example, both showing how to do it plus documentation about what the parameters are that are going to be passed in. So in the last line here, we want to use the tortoise object and we want to turn it. So we want to um, press dot and then we want to look for the turn uh, method. So once we see the turn method, we see that the documentation says we need to put in the degrees and in our case it's 90 degrees. And if we run this, we should hopefully see the square. Great. So that's it. That's all there's to it. Um, we've got a lot of recipes out on the wiki for uh, kids to work on. We've designed these for kids 10 to 17, but really anyone can use them. Have fun working with Small Basic, and we'll be making some more screencasts in the near future.